We'll start off by quickly again revisiting the Home tab, which is what we're seeing right now. What you'll see in the Home tab in Shopify is a grand central station, basically, of everything that deals with your store, right? So any, you know, updates in terms of how many sales you got this month or this week or how many uh, different, you know, products you have sold in general or even things like how many people are joining your email list or your web traffic and so forth. So the home tab within Shopify, which is the tab you'll be taken to every time you log in, by the way, is a very informative tab. And it basically compresses everything that deals with your web store into one. Right now, we're not seeing very much because obviously we just started this store. But if you do continue to work with Shopify, you'll see how over time you'll start to get information piling up here regarding your store and statistics regarding your store. So again, we've just built the store for the first time. So of course, we're seeing just a lot of things that deal with, you know, email verification and adding different things. But know that Shopify definitely will accrue your statistics within the Home tab and of course under the Analytics tab, which we'll get to later on in this course. Know also that in the Home tab, you'll also receive, you know, a lot of different recommendations from Shopify, such as, you know, their videos or latest updates, tips and so forth to, you know, expand and maximize your Shopify store's success online. And on top of this, the Home tab is also very useful for, of course, being able to just view everything going on locally in terms of Shopify. Shopify has events going on um, with, you know, um, their company representatives and then sellers or people who have had great success with Shopify. They hold workshops online and in person. So just know that this is all available to you in the Home tab and it is a great place to just basically view your entire Shopify's web stores updates and ongoings in one. All right, so that is pretty much it for the home tab within Shopify. There's not that much to say right now, but just know that again, the main idea is that it is a central station for everything dealing with your store. Okay, great. So now that we've covered the home tab, let's talk about the orders tab next within the Shopify platform. So obviously here it's pretty self-explanatory. What will be in the orders tab is your list of orders on your Shopify store. This list is automatically updated anytime a customer checks out on your Shopify store or any of your associated sales channels, which we will talk about in a little bit. And you can see here at the bottom left, we have one sales channel at the moment, our online store, which is our Shopify web store. Nonetheless though, right now we obviously can't see any list of orders because we just started our site. And of course we can't have orders unless we select a plan to purchase Shopify and make this store go live because as you know the store that we're working with right now isn't live it's still in sandbox mode because we are navigating the Shopify platform again though anytime a customer checks out and officially pays for an item successfully on your Shopify store or any sales channel associated to your Shopify store it will be automatically listed here as an order and you know you'll see the customer name their information what they purchased and so forth so it is a really great tool here that you have because you'll be able to track orders as they come in you know and you'll definitely be able to see you know the list in which they are organized and you know um what the customer purchased, you know, and so forth. And there's also, of course, a search feature in which you are allowed to search your orders if you're looking for a specific customer or, you know, any other specific characteristic. Now, when we talk about orders, I did say that you have the ability to automatically, you know, see the orders as they come in but you also have the ability to manually input orders. And let's say you are a physical retailer also, your business has a physical location, and you wanna keep track of every order you make, even those that were not in your Shopify store. Could you do that? Of course. If you click here at the left side, under orders we see drafts, what will be here 
is draft orders that you manually input that you can then, of course, publish that you type in the customer information, how much they spent and what they bought and so forth. And when you create a manual order, this is an order that was not necessarily done on your Shopify store, but you still want to have it on Shopify, right? So if we click create draft order, as you can see here, I would have to create the order by adding all of the things that are associated with an online order, which of course would start off with the product. So we would search for a product. We would have, you know, we have one product here. We have John's t-shirt, right? Let's say I want to create an order for John's t-shirt and it was in the size of medium. So then I would click add. So this customer bought one shirt in a size medium. So we have that added already. But then I would have to add or find the customer. Since we just started, we don't have any customers, but you can manually input the customer's name. So if I click create a new customer, I can definitely type in the name and so forth of the customer, their email, and so much more. So if I do this, I'll type in some characteristics for the sake of and then you can, you know, check this box if the customer is allowed to be emailed for, you know, any upcoming sales or, you know, discount items or holiday collections. That's what email marketing is for. Or if the customer is tax exempt, you can check these boxes. And then this is crucial. You add their shipping address and so much more, right? And so in order to do this, you obviously must have this information ready. And when you do add this information, then you'll be able to click Save Customer, right? So when you click Save Customer, the customer has been created and then is now added to your customer list in Shopify, which will be found in the Customers tab right here on the left side, which we will get to later on in this course. So now that we have added an item and added a customer and added their contact information, we are then able to move on and see what else we can add. So of course we want to make sure that we have their shipping address and their billing address as well associated if they haven't paid yet or received the item yet. And we can add some notes. This just deals with, you know, personal notes. The customer won't see this. This is something for yourself. Um, and then after that we have tags. What this is useful for is basically, you know, adding a tag to orders to filter out the orders based on what type of order they are. Perhaps this is, you know, a physical order or an order that was done in store, right? So then I would add the tag in store order. So then for every order that I receive in my physical location, in my physical store, I would make sure on Shopify that I add the in-store order tag. So that way when I'm filtering through my orders here in the orders tab, I know which orders were done in person, in store, as opposed to online on my Shopify store. So then after that, we can see that there's some payment information. You know, uh, we have the subtotal and then based on their location, the shipping will appear here based on their location. Again, the tax rate will appear here and then the final total will appear here as well. If the customer has already paid, you can definitely check payment due later and then check on which date, you know, you know, the payment must be given or whatever have you. Um, and so therefore, when you do this, you don't have to, you know, pay for this any again or twice, right? The customer doesn't have to pay twice because they already did. And so then you're just free to click create order. And so then when you do this, an order will have been created. So this says, this will create an order without payment. You'll be able to send an invoice and collect payment from the order page. So yes, if you click you know, create order to pay later or, you know, pay later, but it's actually never because the customer has already paid in store because this is an in store order. You can just go ahead and click create order, right? And so therefore it didn't go through because again, we just started this, you know, store for the sake of, you know, just demonstrating purposes. But nonetheless, once you have a Shopify plan, 
that will have gone through as an order, right? And you can see here the timeline. You created this draft order. I just created a draft order. And so then this timeline helps you in terms of telling you what was done when. So then when this item ships, this little timeline here will update to say this item has shipped or whatever have you. It's a great little feature that Shopify has within their orders um, tab. Nonetheless, let's go back. And as you can see, the order was given a unique code or ID. This is very important and Shopify does this for you once you create the order because every order has a unique code. And you want to make sure that every single order, of course, has a unique code because every single order is different, even if it is by the same customer, you know, in a different time period. And of course, you can also duplicate this order. And then these arrows we now know is to shift different orders or sift through different orders without having to leave this page. Nonetheless, let's go back. And of course, we can now see our draft order here, right? John sample, which is the status of open. And this is a great thing that Shopify does as well. You know, you can have a variety of statuses depending on where you are in terms of this order. Is the order being produced? Has the order been shipped? Has the order been delivered? This will update to reflect that. And of course, it can be either manual or automatic. So now that we have one draft order here, we can see that this now looks different, right? We now have other tabs, open and invoice sent. This is filtering tabs up here, right? Open and invoice sent, open, invoice sent, completed. These are some filtering tabs, whereas the default tab will always be at all in which it'll just show a list of all your draft orders. You can sift them by this characteristic, right? So if the order is currently in the open and invoice sent state, it'll appear here. If the order is in the regular open state, it'll appear here and we can see that it is because the status is open. If the order is in the invoice sent state, it'll appear here. And if the order has been completed, it'll appear here. So we can see that the order that we currently created for the draft order is only open and that the invoice has been sent. So just be aware that you can filter orders by their characteristics, by their status, by other filters as well, such as when they were updated, when they were created, you know, what customer is associated with this order or what tags does this order have, which we created the in-store order tag as well. So just be aware that, you know, we have a lot of, you know, filtering options within our orders in Shopify. And of course, you also have the ability to save orders or store orders if you have orders that you want to definitely come back to. Um, the saved feature here is really useful and we can also sort orders alphabetically or by newest to oldest or oldest to newest or by price, by customer name, etc. And if you ever want to export your list of orders in case you don't know what this is, this is to export your orders, you know, for either Microsoft Excel or, you know, any other product like that or software like that in which you can tally all your orders or have them listed in a type of program to you know then see them outside of Shopify. So that's just what export is. This will export as a CSV file which is used in programs like Microsoft Excel. And of course if we want to create another draft order we just click create order. So that is pretty much that when it comes to draft orders. These are definitely orders that are separated from actual orders which have been completed, which are, you know, ready to go and ship now because the customer has paid, and are orders here that have been automatically generated as the customer checked out on your Shopify store. Draft orders are orders that you manually input. Okay, so that's the distinction and difference between both of these tabs and type of orders. After that, we have abandoned checkouts. Abandoned checkouts is the third sub tab under the orders tab in Shopify. And this is a great thing that Shopify has. Let's say if a customer was on their way to checking out, but abandoned the checkout, meaning they didn't go and successfully pay and everything, they left the order on the checkout page. They probably exited out on the tab or whatever have you, they are considered an abandoned checkout. So orders that have been abandoned and not completed are called abandoned checkouts. And 
here you'll have a list of abandoned checkout orders that Shopify will present to you that happened on your Shopify store. This is a great feature because you're then able to either send the customer a reminder email saying, hey, you forgot this in your cart or hey, you forgot this at checkout. Make sure that you go ahead and purchase now in case this item runs out, right? I'm sure you've received emails like that from stores that you have shopped at. This creates urgency for your customer or reminds them that, oh, right, I forgot I was going to go buy that. And it creates a reminder for them to then go ahead and hopefully and potentially go and finish the checkout and purchase from your store the products that they had abandoned. So again, you can definitely email those type of customers and they will be listed here as an abandoned checkout customer and order. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the orders tab within Shopify.